Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I did some kind of not really damage at Sephora yesterday. Um, I mostly went in there on a mission. Um, I wanted to try out their brand of stuff. Like, you know how Sephora has a brand. I've heard a lot of good things about them and I kind of wanted to give it a try for myself. So I went in, started swatching some lipsticks and I was really into those and then I went to the foundations and went to the highlighters and then it kind of snowballed. But not too much, I held back, I held back. The big two though are the foundation stick and the highlighter. So I'm gonna show you all the stuff really quick. Okay, so I got five of Sephora's cream lip stains. I have this one on right now, it's like a brown. Um, and the only thing that I don't like about this packaging is that the shade names, if they're on the bottom, they're too small for me to see them, and I wear glasses, so this is already, like, a struggle for me, and so the shade names will be down on the bottom for you to reference, but I have the brown one on right now. So this is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. So I got this kind of nude, pinky, but still with some brown in it, because I've been looking for a nude, but a lot of nudes just don't work for me. And then I got this really bright fuchsia shade. This is really pretty too, and it's really um, opaque. So one swipe and you're good to go, you know. This first one here, it's like a teal green, dark. Really pretty though, like I can't wait to play with this in the fall. I can see this with like my Naked Heat palette. Y'all, okay, I'm, I'm, I promise I'm gonna put a video out with that really soon because I have been playing with that here and there. But I promise I'll put that video out really, really soon. I'll put a bomb look out with this lip, though. Wait a minute. I'm not ready. Erin, are you ready? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, and the last shade I got is this black lipstick. And if you know me, you know I love to rock a black lip whenever I can. I used to have the Kat Von D, like, studded black lipstick, but it was just kind of really tugging on my lips. It was a really dry formula that didn't sit well on my lips and it wasn't very black or it wasn't as black as I would like it to be but this is a very smooth and comfortable formula and like I was saying they're very opaque so one swipe is gonna be great and like the way I have the control because it is a liquid lipstick I can't wait to try this out either like this is gonna be ooh, I have so many plans you guys like I have plans <sighs> I can't even right now Okay, so the next thing I picked up from the Sephora brand is this Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. I picked mine up in the shade Dulce de Leche. It's a more yellow, golden undertone, maybe about three shades lighter than my actual skin tone. So I used this to highlight my under eye area and the high points on my face, like my chin, a little bit, and my forehead, um, places like that. And I like how this blended out. I'm starting the new technique. It's not a new technique, but it's new to me. So I'm using the technique where you let your concealer sit on your face before you blend it out, as opposed to blending it out immediately, which is what I used to do. And this is working really well with that technique. I just let it sit on my face, you know, just it has the doe foot applicator, so I'll let it sit, do my thing, do my contour, and then blend this in. It's really beautiful. The shade is great, actually. I was a little worried about it when I was initially putting it on, but as I blended it in, I was getting more comfortable and I saw that it would be a good color match. And I do like how it's sitting and how it adjusts with the foundation. Really pretty. So these are the two big staples that I got today. Um, when I was looking through the Sephora collection, I was going to grab just their liquid foundation, you know, just like try out their foundation. The lady who was helping me, she said, no, give this stick foundation a try. We just got it in. It's really new to our collection and um, we can color match you. When I think of a stick foundation, the thing that comes to my mind is like the hourglass, like, cause everyone's using that, everyone's talking about that, and it seems to be the, you know, the, that, like, it seems to be that foundation, okay? Like, she's that bitch right now. First, I had her, I was like, okay, like, if I'm gonna do a stick foundation, I wanna try that. So I had her color match me, and there were two shades I was in between, but the one shade was just so yellow, like, just even maybe about, one shade lighter than the concealer I used to highlight my face today and I was like this is a no for me and then the next shade which is also the darkest shade in the collection which is so red that I didn't even like I would have to make that foundation work for me you know and for that to be a $55 foundation if I'm gonna spend 55 bleeping dollars on anything and have to make it work that's not gonna I'm not gonna do that like I'm not gonna do that so she suggested this one from Sephora and it's called the Make No Mistake Foundation and Concealer Stick. And it is advertised as a foundation slash concealer stick, but that doesn't really appeal to me because I don't use concealers that are my skin tone to do blemishes or like under my eyes or anything. I got it in the shade Teak. And this one also does pull just a teeny weeny bit red, or it is 
a little bit more red than my initial skin but when I blend it out and add the other products to it it like matches my chest like perfectly you see that I love this and I am wearing a freaking shirt by the way <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the last thing I picked up from their collection is their highlighting palette. I believe it's called the Illuminate or Illuminated palette. I was looking at the packaging and they're not named the shades. They're just numbered. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. My, I'm holding it upside down for you. So I'm excited to give all the shades a try. Even this kind of stark white shade here, I could see this in my um, like inner corner or something as a highlight. I'm excited to play with it. And it's only $28. Can you imagine that? Oh, and let me list some prices for you really quick before I forget. The concealer is $20. The foundation is $20. The liquid lips are $14 a pop. So I'm going to go ahead and stop talking now so you can listen to me talk some more while I put them on my face. I'm super excited to use this new stuff. You have no idea, actually. I think I'm going to go in. Oh, I need to color correct. Okay, so I'm all color corrected. And for foundation, I'm going to use this Sephora Stick Foundation. Okay, so I've never used a stick foundation before, ever. And the one that kind of comes to mind when I think of stick foundations is that hourglass, like super bougie, like triangle shape, ooh la la. And there are really two shades that I was in between. And the difference was like really yellow and the other was really red. And the foundation I believe was $55 and for it to be too red and me to have to make it work, that just wasn't something I was into, okay? To drop $55, girl, hourglass, I don't know. Who you think I am? But I aspire to be that person if you think I would love to just make a $55 foundation work. So I was definitely kind of testing out different things in the Sephora section, you know? And I was gonna pick out a foundation, so I'm just gonna pick their standard liquid, you know, foundation. But the lady was like, no girl, try the stick. Um, it's really good, I promise you I love it. Just give it a try, so she put it on my skin. I really liked how it sat. Like, the color is, about an 85% match. It still pulls a little bit red, but this I don't mind making more because this is $20 compared to $55 for Hourglass. Like, girl, Sephora, I can work with you. But honestly, the price point, don't let it scare you because the things in the Sephora collection are so much more inexpensive than if I would buy things comparable in, say, more high end brands like Anastasia, Liquid Lipsticks, and NARS concealers and freaking Urban Decay foundation, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I did the equivalent that I got in this Sephora trip in like a high-end version, it would be way much more money. So the things in the Sephora brand are really inexpensive, but they are very surprising. So I'm excited to use all of these. So let's jump in with the foundation first. I'm feeling really chatty today, guys. Like, I'm really sorry, but I'm feeling super chatty. I got it in the shade Teak which I believe is the darkest shade in the line. And immediately, oh my gosh, like the way it glides on you guys. It's so smooth, like it's not um, catching on my skin. It's not really pulling anywhere, it's no dragging. It's really smooth. Like I'm really applying it where I want it, you know? And you see how it is a little bit red? But that's okay because when it blends in and when I apply the powders and the other products, I'm going to use the concealers, it blends it in perfectly. So I think for this foundation, I'm going to use my Artiste um, Oval, I believe it's an Oval 8. Yep, Oval 8 brush. Throw bag. I still do use these regularly. I, have, I actually did a video when I first, first got them, which was like about a year ago. I'll link that down below so you can watch. I did a video on the whole set. And the thing I like about this brush is that it covers a lot of ground and it also doesn't mess with the coverage of your foundation. I like these bristles because um, they just slide, you know, they just like help the product slide on top of my skin and really get in there. Like that coverage doesn't change. Ooh, coverage. This coverage is really good. I'm going to take my little wannabe beauty blender, um, I wet it obviously, and I'm just going to bounce it all over my face. I'm honestly really, really um, satisfied with this coverage of the foundation. And the color isn't bad, like look at it compared with my chest. It's not even bad, girl, I'm feeling it. Sephora, okay Sephora is one for one with the product so far. Okay, so now I'm going to try the concealer. 
Um, this is their Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. I got mine in the shade Dulce de Leche. And it has a doe foot applicator. I'm just going to apply it underneath my eyes and other high points of my face to highlight. So I've adapted this uh, method of letting the concealer sit for a while. So I end up doing my under eyes last. And I do find that this method does enhance the coverage of my concealer. It works for every concealer I've tried it with so far. And I like it. So while this sits, I'm going to do my concealer with my Anastasia Cream Contra Kit. Okay, so that's all blended in. I'm going to take some of my Laura Mercier powder and just bake where I put that concealer. Okay, so honestly, I'm really liking the concealer. It was really easy to blend out, um, even after I let it set there for a while. And the color, I was kind of worried about it in the beginning, but the color is my like nearly perfect for me that I would want to use as a highlighting shade because it has more yellow to it, but it's still light, where it's not like obviously yellow like mustard or anything. But I like this, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this bake for a little bit and do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. I've got my brows on and set with brow gel. I'm just gonna take this um, Bare Minerals powder and just dust away this excess and make that line just a little less sharp. So I like how the concealer is playing nice with my Laura Mercier powder. It's really a nice combination and this foundation coverage is great. I like the color match. Um, my face to chest color is really really similar almost 100% spot on okay so I'm just gonna go finish my eyes and the rest of my face um, and we'll come back and use the highlighters and choose a lip color as well okay so let's move on to the last couple of things I want to try out their um, highlighter palette here so this is the illuminated highlighting palette and the colors don't have names as far as I saw in the packaging it's just one through six they're numbered Yes, this is really, really pretty. I'm gonna take it up the side of my brow here too. I really like how this highlighter is turning out. It's really Shazam, not too glittery, you know? Like there's no like sparkle to it where it's like kind of messy. This is kind of just like a wet look and it's really inexpensive. This whole palette I think was $28. And you get six shades here. Like I can't wait to play with this a little bit more. I picked up five of their cream lip stains. Um, this here is the brown one. I don't know the name right now off top, and I can't really read this on the bottom, so I'll put it in the description bar for you down below. I'm just going to outline my lips with this NYX liner in the shade Auburn, and then I will fill my lips in with this brown liquid lip from Sephora. Yeah, I'm really into this lip. Who? What Kylie lip kit? No, but seriously, this brown is really nice, and this formula is really comfortable on my lips, too. I'm gonna use this little, one of my little samples. I'm gonna use this here, this All Nighter Setting Spray by Urban Decay. All right guys, and this is the finished look. I really, really hope you like it. I love this lip color. These Sephora products, don't sleep on the Sephora products, okay? I'm really, really satisfied and surprised with how these are performing and i'm really liking this Lorac mega pro 3 this color selection is just really getting to me um the only thing their shadows are really powdery so i kind of have to be careful when i'm blending because the fallout is really heavy but other than that girl i'm liking this eye look this face let me go do something today okay guys well i'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't already and I love you. I mean it. Bye.